Hi there and welcome back to the Culture Beyond. We're looking at our new organic tomb spring rain that we reintegrated into the core sector so we can control what happens there. I got a trade deal offer. What is that? Star charts versus star charts. Um, thanks but no, overlords. Thanks but no. So what is going on? There is a war. There's always a war. Against the Dechronix Terminators. Stand against us is to stand with Organics. To stand with Organics is to embrace death. We have a war against them, but they are losing. They are a machine. Um, oh, we had a war. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> they got humiliated. And they got freed, apparently. And we now have the High Kingdom of Obrium, a protectorate under the Kenjodan Alliance. <laughs> what? <laughs> and these strange space slugs have taken over. Individuals, your biotrophies are willing participants. Are they not? Please say they are willing. What? The High Kingdom of Obrium. It's actually controlling this now. Is there something left from the Dechronix Terminators? Yes, here. But not... Yeah. Not anymore very soon. That was a short... And these are the rebels of... The Quelnudar rebels of the Dechronix Terminators. Well then. Well then. <laughs> Oh my god. We'll have to fight even more of the galaxy. It's really terrifying. Oh, we have to construct a new bot. Build a pop here. What shall we go for? Um, actually, we want a uh, drill bot, I think. Let's build a drill bot here. And uh, a mining network. Now we got a 30% more build speed for the robot. Which is quite quickly. Aha, uh -huh. Mosslands embraces cybernetics. Mosslands? What? Reports from Mosslands. What is that? What is going on here? Ah, in the. Aha, uh -huh. in. In. <laughs> oh, <God>. Whatever. <laughs> Ilflilon. In the authority of Ilflilon, it would appear that they have fully embraced the technology of cybernetics. It is now mandatory for all of their citizens to have bi basic cybernetics and neural implants installed through surgery. This has resulted in sweeping changes to their society. Reports from Mosslands suggest that even simple acts like using an elevator or operating an air car require cybernetic implants now. In fact, the changes to their species it's so significant that they call themselves the Mandrazura Variatus. Yeah. Um, all right. Mandrazura Variatus, Mosslands. Primark Bronze Needle. Well then, things are st still exciting here. <laughs> Very exciting. <laughs> Quarola has been fully surveyed. Nice, nice. Do we still have Servitor Moral at maximum? We have to watch this, by the way. Mm, we have to calculate a bit. Let's let's look at our Empire species. 
Ah, that's the galaxy species. No, we got to have the, the empire species. Uh, we've got to calculate. Now, there's the Bokasharan. And uh, the Conistians and the humans that our main organics are. And then we have the Jaskavas and the Quiptiliums. Hmm. Well, I need a I need some kind of calculator to compare this. I'm always forgetting the numbers. There's a lot of numbers here, so we, we could look at that. So how many people do we have? That's the first thing. How many do we have? We're in the middle of the park somehow. We have 486 people. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a lot more than most have, I think. Or than anyone has. Let's go back to the species. 486. This means... Uh, we should have 292 individuals on 292 robots, machines. And the rest shall be organics. And how many machines do we really have? So we need 292. That's the maximum we can have. Or 291 to be safe. And what do we have? We have 4, 2, 37... That's 241. Yeah, I mean, we are, we are playing robots, so we would calculate, right? You were warned. 262. Uh. <laughs> oh my god, this is terrible. Talking, streaming, and calculating together. 279 to 100 and... Uh, 91 we have 291 all right all right good really good to know so we're close to that hmm we need more we need more organics <laughs> and we need to stop something here because then we'll have 292 and that cannot be Let's stop this. Oh, let's stop this guy too. And let's deactivate that thing. Who needs that, right? We actually need a habitat right now. <laughs> let's let's do it on oxygen. We, we already have it positioned, right? Let's build that habitat. It's really important to have that. Really, really important. Wow, that close calculation. That was... Wow. That was crazy. Yeah, we really need to wait on Rulen. Hmm. Yeah, we need our maximum morale. It's just needed. And then on a habitat, we have 12 more. 12 more. So we have 486. We have 490. 498. And on 498, how many could we have then? 498 uh, means we could have 298 machines. So we need another 
another habitat then I guess whoa whoa <laughs> applied superconductivity we have now really great adds up to a sizable reduction in overall energy loss and now what to go for next what could be good predictive algorithms could really be good shield harmonics too but we want the predictive algorithms here we have to sono who is studying computers point defense a wider range of available ammunition types vastly improves the effective interception rate of incoming threats David has also leveled up. Nice. And meta compression. Compressing suitable materials into ultra dense forms is a cheap and efficient way to improve their ability to absorb weapons, great impacts, and what to take next. I think we should take the kinetic battery here. It's cheapest and it's on our way, like to the to our arsenal. Kinetic battery there, there we go. Yeah, we, we can have the the research grants there. It makes it just makes sense. Or oh, does it make sense? Actually society would make more sense. In my eyes, society would make more sense. While we're not at war, society makes more sense. Huh. Turbo Pascal leveled up, commanding the science rocket. Also at maximum level right now. Oh, there's something we need to do, right? Where do we have there in Rabinok? Come on. Go there. The Marx Matrix. I need to help here, Marx Matrix. And we need to look for more and better leaders. Ah, we have another industry guy. I don't think we need one. We have the Marx Matrix going strong and even someone else in the Legion. Need someone with an expertise that we don't have already. Or genius. Genius would also be okay. We can still build tons of habitats, right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Ah, good that we stopped here, right? Servitor morale at maximum. Thankfully. <laughs> what world to transform next? Maybe the organic tomb already. Maybe Oxygen Prime. So many energy credits right now. Is there a war going? No. Is there a war coming? Probably, because they call us toasters. We don't like that. But we don't like a lot about this situation. receiving you will you release us though no well we will be attacked if we would be released so fleet power is overwhelming that's really terrible and why is it so what do they have as a fleet power my god they have double our fleet power nearly uh, but we will correct that in the future 
notifications alert. Another proposal. We don't want your star charts. You wanna explore the stars and gain the gain the bonuses. Because that's what we do. Look at that. So much we gain through that, it's crazy. Still one system there that we haven't looked at. And there's so much in, in the Lilorobius Reconqueror space that is still unexplored. We wonder what is there. Spirons, the Fotakians. Oh, they are taking over here now. And the Corinth alignment too. What the hell is the Corinth? I'm sorry, what, what is the Corinth alignment? These guys. Looks like space vampires. Individuals are exemplary in our common goals of unity and progress. They could be our best friends, but they, they wouldn't be. So why we get a problem now? Culture couch sector is system survey. Researching so mad, madly good. It's yeah. I mean, no wonder, right? There's a science nexus in it. duration soon goes up which is good because then we can uh, go for more edicts maybe the kinetic battery we also have soon also a great help we will have new ship designs when we have already and then system survey complete might be much more powerful How is the rest of the Decrons doing? Really bad. One perfect intelligence greets another. Uh, hi there. Um, of course we are perfect. And you too. You too. Some last words before they disintegrate. Let's give them some... Some nice words. They don't have it, they don't have it, uh, good. The Jehesma, now. What is there? They liberated a lot, they made them seed a lot. We have the Sacrosanct Assembly, Spiritual Seekers. And we have the Irenic Grand Duchy that hates us of border frictions and we've got here part of the Sintomoroi citizen republic and they are a little bit superior but only a little bit technological acquisition successful kinetic batteries very long range artillery capable of hurling powerful rounds over extreme distances with a large degree of accuracy. And what next? That's the question. I mean, probably kinetic artillery too. Because we want the full arsenal before we go into these additions. There we go. Jehethma Sovereign States, what? <laughs> and the Lilarobius. They are very, very close to the Sintomoroi. 
Diplomatic alert. Military confrontation detected. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I was saying. What I was saying. Oh, God. Now, they are a little bit more of an opponent. But only because they are part of the Concord. They have the Skildari, they have the United Nations of Earth, the Last Garvin's Shelter, and the Eruxo Incorporated. They should be able to keep them in check, but on the other hand, four AIs. Sleek, innovative, efficient, shiny, oh individuals, we were just admiring your many qualities. The Skildari. Just got to love them. Just got to love them. Well, we'll see how this goes for the Lyrarobius and the... Mm, this kind of um, great alliance. We'll see how it goes. I predict a win for the Lyrarobius. Oh, and it's a deal for the artisan troop. Let's support them. Still... So thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. The culture beyond loves you.